What I'm about to present to you is a wonderfully laid out randomized control trial in regard to utilizing magnesium as an over-the-counter supplement to alleviate the symptoms of depression. This is a beautifully laid out study in regard to showing the data protocol, the statistical methods that were utilized. So basically another spiral statistician, if they wanted to, they could see if they could duplicate the exact same results, provided they have information to the anonymous patient data that is utilized. But with that in mind, let's get right into the, basically the public citation of the title. Now keep in mind also, without reiterating, that this was actually done in looking at ways to reduce healthcare expenditures. However, magnesium, alleviating the symptoms of depression, pretty much deals specifically with the individual itself. So let's proceed forward with healthcare cuts. With healthcare cuts looming, low cost magnesium, again, in regard to healthcare expenditures, a welcome option for treating depression. Critical to such body functions as heart rhythm, blood pressure, and bone strength, the mineral magnesium plays a role in combating inflammation in the body and has been proven to have an association with depression. However, a few clinical trials have studied the supplement's effects. Fast forward. Researchers conducted a clinical trial over-the-counter oral magnesium tablets from mild to moderate depression. The results showed that magnesium is safe and effective, and I am quoting, comparable to prescription SSRI treatments in effectiveness, as well as works very fast in about two weeks. With that in mind as well, let's go right into the study parameters. Citation title, Role of Magnesium, Supplementation and Treatment of Depression, a randomized clinical trial, DOI stated, funding stated, no conflicts of interest noted. Study participants was human. This was a 12-week open-label randomized crossover control trial. Participants were recruited through primary care providers with a single academic medical center. Randomized to begin with magnesium chloride. They used magnesium chloride because of the absorption rates. Immediately or at week seven delayed during the other six-week period, they took no magnesium chloride. That's a washout period. But I want to show you the study protocol as far as I should say the data analysis. This is the way it should be done. This is just going to be brief. If you look, for example, at the Wilcox and Rank sums, continuous values, uh, chi square, chi square, I want to say chi square, chi square, uh, crossover, linear regression, co-founders, multivariate, univariate. If it is a beautifully well laid out um, example of how data analysis really should be done. A lot of wonderful research appears to be great, but they never list on how they came up with their figures. I mean, and the thing about it is, if you look at biostatistics, if you use the wrong data analysis, uh, you could come up with, a, uh, with the results that could show something that works doesn't, or something that doesn't work does. So it's incredibly important to make sure that the study parameters, as well as basically the methodology in regard to how they came up with those figures is listed so other biostatisticians can research it further on their own. I apologize for that um, side trail, so to say, but to proceed, study length about 12 to 13 weeks, dosage of materials, as again stated, tablets of magnesium chloride were provided free of charge. Participants were instructed to take four 500 milligram tablets of magnesium chloride daily for a total of 248 milligrams of elemental magnesium per day. Keep in mind, we're looking at the elemental amount. It just happens to be the tablets for 500 milligrams with combination with the chloride itself, but only 248 milligrams of elemental magnesium. Magnesium chloride was used because of its high bioavailability and tolerability compared to other salts. Results. The net improvement in P, the scoring methods that they utilized, uh, of six points is statistically and clinically significant. I'm gonna leave this chart up, which I basically referring to at the end of the video. So if you want to pause it, you can research the data on your own. A change in the score of five or greater reflects a clinically relevant change in individuals receiving depression treatment. Magnesium supplementation, this is quoted in the study again, provides a safe, fast, and inexpensive approach to controlling depressive symptoms. Most patients who experience improvement do so within two weeks of starting the supplements. And to read a little bit further, in regard to the full published trial that you can find on PLOS online, just follow DOI citations as needed, which I will post. It goes as follows, and I am quoting, just quoting, I'm not ad-libbing, straight quote from the study. As follows, daily supplementation with 248 milligrams of elemental magnesium as four 500 milligram tablets of magnesium chloride per day leads to a significant decrease in depression and anxiety symptoms regardless of age, gender, baseline severity of depression, or use of antidepressant medications. 
while this crossover design of this trial is robust, and that's an understatement, in controlling for internal biases, it would be reassuring to see the results replicated in larger clinical trials that test long-term efficacy and provide additional data on subgroups. However, this effect efficacy or if this, yeah, this efficacy trial showed magnesium supplements may be a fast, safe, and easily accessible alternative or adjunct to starting or increasing the dose of antidepressant medications. If someone wanted to do it in combination with the assistance of your medical professional was seen if they could lower the dosage of an antidepressant or if they even needed to take an antidepressant at all. Again, and to further conclude, this is what the researchers stated in their own words, over-the-counter magnesium can be offered as an alternative therapy to those patients hesitant to begin antidepressant treatment and is easily accessible without a prescription for around $14, we assume US, per month. Beautiful, wonderful, simple, elegant study is something where someone can basically take control partially, again with the supervision of a medical professional, a little bit of their life into their own hands with taking something which actually has side benefits instead of side effects. Again, magnesium, we're looking at again 248 milligrams of elemental, not the size of the tablet, just the elemental amount of magnesium per day. And again, it's just, it's just simple, elegant, and incredibly beneficial to the individual such as yourself and possibly as well to healthcare cost nationally. Again, Ralph Church Channel, signing off. DUI citations are going to always listen to you. Look at the information on your own. Beautiful, beautiful uh, data layout of the study, which is rare to find in a lot of clinicals produced today. And so that more clinical trials are not as, um, how would you say, well recorded in regards to the data analysis methods as this one particularly is. Again, Ralph Church Channel signing off. I hope you find this information of great use, and I look forward to see you all once again in seven days. Catch you in a bit. Bye.